Now, Kalis was a new trail running brand to the channel last year. I'd heard about them before and I'd seen lots of their gear and it always looked really sort of super technical and of high quality. I actually tested out three shoes from the brand in 2022, the Fuga Pro 4s, the Fuga DU, and these, the Fuga EX2. I personally think that this was the standout shoe of the bunch and these actually made it into our top five running shoes of the year, which was a massive surprise to me. So since I gave you our first impressions of it, I've run about 70 miles in the shoe. So let's jump into the video and find out if these have continued to impress. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Thanks for joining us for another video and don't forget if you enjoy what you see to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It only takes a second to do, it's completely free and it is greatly appreciated. Recently we uploaded our first episode in an exciting new series on the channel where we're going to be following my preparations for one of the toughest 100 mile foot races in the UK, uh, the Arc of Attrition. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch so if you haven't seen it I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Okay so before we get stuck into how these bad boys are performed I'm just going to give you a few stats and we're going to break down the construction in a bit more detail. So the shoe retails for 160 US dollars so around about 140 pounds here in the UK. Weight wise weighs in at 318 grams in a UK men's nine. It runs on an eight mil drop so we've got 36 mil on the heel and 28 mil under the forefoot and when it comes down to sizing I'd say it actually sizes up a bit on the big side so I've actually gone down half a size to a UK 9 and it fits my foot shape like a glove and I'd say it's got average width in the toe box. When it comes down to the construction, we've got lots of interesting things to talk about. So let's start with the upper first. So Kalis have decided to use this lightweight wear resistant engineered mesh in the upper. We've got lots of TPU overlays placed around the shoe, including this anti-impact toe bumper to give you good levels of protection when you're out on the trails, but also to help when it comes down to durability. For me, just the right level of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel and in the gusted tongue. So offering good levels of foot comfort while still allowing you to get a good hold around your midfoot and a good lockdown in the heel. When it comes to lacing these up, the EX2 has a pretty unique lacing system. So there's no standard running shoe laces in these. They come with the brand's AWS 3.0 two section tightening system. And that is a bit of a mouthful, but it's very similar to sort of Salomon speed lace. But instead of having one point of adjustment, you get two. So you've got the one at the top of the lace, but you've also got one set a little bit further down. And what that allows you to do is get a real sort of personalized fit to your foot shape. But it doesn't stop there with the lace system because you've also got this handy place sort of lace hook and that makes it really efficient to get in and out of the shoes really quickly if you need to. And then it's all finished off with a lace pocket that's placed in the tongue. I've got to be honest, maybe not the best placement on the pocket. It can be a little bit fiddly to get those laces stowed away. Working down to the midsole construction and you now get a much deeper helping of Ekava cushioning than the previous version. So giving you a softer, more cushioned ride. Uh, Kalis have also worked in a slightly more aggressive sort of rocker geometry into that midsole. So giving you stronger levels of propulsion, making the EX2 feel nice and efficient when running distance. And we've got an update to their four point gator attached system so making it really straightforward to attach a pair of gaiters around the upper to help keep out that dirt and debris from the shoe and finishing up when it comes to construction we've got the all-important outsole or should I say the all-important muddy outsole but I'm really happy uh, to see that bright yellow Vibram logo on the bottom of a trail running shoe especially when it's their super sticky compound mega grip uh, that's been paired up with a four mil multi-directional lug pattern so we've got forward-facing accelerate in lugs on the forefoot and then we've got reverse facing decelerating lugs on the heel just to provide the runner with good levels of grip and traction no matter where they choose to run. So there you have it folks a bit of info about what goes into producing the Fuga EX2. Now with the shoe making it into our top five running shoes of 2022 obviously I've really enjoyed running in them but let's go into how they performed in a bit more detail and firstly 
I need to talk about the fit of this shoe because on my foot shape, this is about as good as it gets. I would say it works best for a moderate foot width. So if you've got a lot of volume, a lot of width to your foot shape, then these might fit a little bit narrow. But for me, great sort of hold wrapping around my midfoot, really good lockdown in the heel and just the right sort of space and volume in the toe box for me. And what that all gives me is a feeling of being very connected to the upper. Obviously it makes it super comfortable and it gives me that sort of no shoe feel when I'm out there running and I love that in a trail running shoe. You also get a great level of protection if you just so happen to sort of stub your toe when you're out on the trails from this very substantial toe bumper. And this two point lacing system has worked really well, gives you lots of adjustments so you can get that locked down and fit just right for your foot shape. Uh, I spent a lot of years just running in Salomon shoes so I'm very used to this sort of cord lacing system but totally understand some runners will prefer your more traditional lacing setup so this system isn't for everyone. I've enjoyed the level of comfort from that Ecova compound in the midsole. Uh, I'd say it's not as sort of soft and bouncy as a Hoka Speedgoat, but still offered a deep level of cushioning and is very comfortable over distance. I personally think having that little bit of extra firmness to it, it makes it feel nice and connected when you're moving at speed on more techie trails. And the standout um, highlight for me is that rocker geometry. And I would say it's right up there with the brilliant sort of speed roll technology from Saucony, and that is high praise indeed. So the Fuga EX2 feels super efficient when you're running slower and going longer, but then when you up the pace on a shorter run, it really does come alive. And that midsole geometry is very, responsive as well. So all in all, I've been really happy with the fit and the comfort from that upper. No issues with the upper to speak of. Same can be said about the midsole. Really happy with the performance over a big mix of different trains, making it very versatile. So all that's left to discuss is that Vibram Mega Grip design on the outsole. And again, it's performed really well on everything I've run the Fuga EX2 on, whether it's been tarmac, compact dry trail, rocky trails, whether they're wet or dry or loose gravelly stuff. Being a four mil lug, maybe it does struggle a bit for traction in sort of really deep boggy sections, but it still hasn't performed bad in the mud. So again, just a, another very versatile feature of this trail shoe. Like I said at the beginning of the video, these have been a big surprise for me last year, and I've been spending more and more time running in these shoes, but we've reached that point of the review where we need to get some points on the Run For Adventure board. So we're gonna start scoring, and as always, we start with price. So with the Fuga EX2 retailing for around about 140, £40 here in the UK. I personally think for the level of performance, the build quality, and the fact that it's a very versatile trail running shoe, I actually think that's pretty good value, especially when you compare it to sort of all the other trail running shoes on the market that it's competing with. So the Fuga EX2 at Run for Adventure is going to score a solid 8 out of 10 for price. Up next is comfort and performance, and I can't really fault these when it comes to that. I've really enjoyed running in it, a great fit on my foot shape, very versatile versatile shoe and it's performed well over all terrains and I think it personally makes a really good sort of trail running all-rounder and the only slight negative is the placement of that tongue pocket it is a bit fiddly to get the laces in it has got a bit easier over time so if that is the only issue with the running shoe then it's pretty good going so when it comes to the Fuga EX2 and comfort and performance it is going to score surprisingly high so we're going to give it a very impressive 9 out of 10. Last to be scored is the all important durability. And I have to say it, so far so good. So with 70 miles in the shoe, there's no early signs of wear on that upper. The flex point of that toe box is looking nice and strong. We've got some nice substantial overlays around there. And the outsole, hard to see there, but uh, with all the mud on it, because I haven't cleaned it properly, but very little sign of wear on any of those lugs. And over those 70 miles, I've done a fair bit of tarmac in this shoe. So looking like it's really well put together. So it's gonna score strong. We've got strong scores all the way across all the categories. So for durability, it's gonna come in with a solid eight out of 10. So when we tally all those points up for the Fuga EX2 from Kalas, they are gonna score a very respectable 25 out of 30. When it comes down to looks, now I know this isn't the most important thing when it comes to our running shoes and it's definitely not top of the list. We never wanna pick a shoe on looks, but you have to agree with me, this is a good looking trail shoe. I love the color combinations that Kalas have used, the red, the orange, the black, and this pale blue, it looks super cool. And it's one of those shoes that 
I put it on, it just puts a smile on my face and I want to run quickly and move fast in technical trails and definitely one of the best looking shoes that we tested in 2022. So it has to get a big thumbs up from me when it comes down to looks. As far as trail shoes that perform similar, I would say that the Fugi EX2 definitely has a sort of Salomon feel and fit to it. So maybe the Sense Ride or the Ultra Glide from Salomon's would give you a similar performance. However, you definitely got a bit more cushioning in the midsole than these in the Sense Ride. And the performance when it comes to grip and traction on that outsole is actually better than both those Salomon shoes. Also, the North Face, the Vective Infinite, would give you very similar performance, especially when it comes to the geometry of the midsole they both feel very very similar again i think this shoe definitely offers a deeper level of cushioning and a much better performing outsole so wrapping the review up with a quick conclusion and i've been really impressed with how these have performed they can pretty much soak up any underfoot condition so making it a really good sort of one-stop shop when it comes to your trail running shoes long sections of tarmac if you have to do them to get to the trails no problem and then very comfortable over distance at slower tempos or very responsive when you want to up the pace in a quicker shorter session so if you're in the market for your first ever pair of trail running shoes or you're looking for a really good sort of trail all-rounder that can handle lots of different distances and terrains then i would definitely recommend checking out the fuga ex2 from kalas in a bit more detail that's another positive trail running shoe review wrapped up here at the channel really hope you enjoyed it really hope you found it helpful we've got some great trail running shoes heading our way as we speak to be reviewed so keep your eyes peeled for that and we've got episode two in our exciting new arc of attrition series dropping on the channel soon and i can't wait to show you that if you've been running in the fuga ex2s then it'd be great to get your feedback guys so how do you feel about the shoe and the performance let us know all about that in the comments below but now as for now thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel it is really appreciated we'll be back here very soon and as always stay safe and keep on running Let's go into how they performed in a little bit, little bit more. <laughs> First up, got to talk about fit because this shoe on my foot shape is about as good as it gets. I would say they work best for a sort of moderate foot width. So if you've got a lot of volume, if you got, I'm just making words up. If you've got a lot of volume, a lot of volume and width to your foot shape, whatever that is.